Uh, now I'm introducing how to use dash, how to create a dashboard. Actually, dashboard is the same thing, uh, a storyline. Story is actually here, new story. It's the same thing with dashboard, just you click one story. And it's like a PowerPoint slide show. So let's just say, if you drag it one dashboard, if you drag it here, you can add a caption for this screen. A uh, story is on the right bottom here. Do you see the last one look like a book page? Then you will have an empty one. Now, let's say I will do one more time. I will drag one more time and then drag it to add a new point. And then it will have a two view. So actually, the first one, this one is let's say overview in 2010. And let's say I call this one overview 20, 2011 so in 2010 I only show 2010 example so this one also goes to here okay so just drag dashboard oh. to if you click it you post a new blank point just drag it there or add a new point and then you see it's critical that if you change some filter, you have to update it. Otherwise, uh, once you update it, you do remember your selection of choices. And then go to 2011. Actually, I want to show only 2011 only. Actually, I have to match this slide bar too. And this one, I have to also update only. So now you can see that in this story tile, storyline, if you do show 2010, Okay, you can explain that, hey, in 2010, this will look like this, 2011, the trend is changing. Okay, it looks like I lost my, uh, some of the images. So now, this is story. And then even if you story, let's say, if you want to say more about trends over time, so you can just, not just, you can also use dashboard, you can also use a sheet. So I will just simply uh, drag trends over time at a new point. And actually, this one is showing uh, trends over time uh, okay so here if you see kind of this one if you want to change the size this one's a little bit tricky part okay so first of all you may want to resize your story and actually I will you see the story here I will change this one is overall size so I will say it depends on your uh, okay let's say this one is we are going to use tabloid size where is tabloid there's no tabloid so maybe legal or letter landscape and then if you want to resize the story tile to fit this story okay, this one's a little bit tricky you have to go to first trends over time which is this one uh, where, where is the okay, range map overview uh, this one uh, this one only applies to uh, okay so if you storyline I first resize this board you will see that something lower bottom is kind of like uh, eliminated. To change this one, to fix this one, go first uh, set your size of the story here and then go to dashboard. You see that there's a size here. At the bottom, they're saying fit to story. So if you click this one, everything is kind of resized to match this one. And actually this one is simply view. So this one is how to resize it. Go back to your dashboard and size fit to story and then for storyline you can add a title by showing this one show title or not and so you can also change the story title here and then if you want to if you want to focus on certain item only that oh i want to explain about commercial project only overview in 2010 I only select commercial, so I'm using this one as a uh, filter. So I only focus on trends in to trends in commercial project in 2010. Make sure that you update it to update your selection. In overview 2011, I also select commercial one. I also update it. So now you will see that chain trend is trends and changes. So 2010. Actually, the tr kind of the trends is kind of a little bit decreasing. If I go to 2011, actually the trends is actually main horizontally maintained. So kind of you see that the difference between 
commercial project in 2010 and 2011. So this is kind of how to make storyline. Um,